Today, we are going to review how to use a refractometer to measure the concentration of glycol in a hydronic heating or cooling system. Here is a meter. You'll notice there is a eyepiece here, which will be used for viewing the sample. The measuring surface, which is where we'll place the sample from our system. And on this particular model, we have a eyedropper which we can use to take the sample from our bottle here and put it on the measuring surface. So the first thing you want to do prior to using the meter is to ensure that the surface is clean with a damp cloth. Once you know that surface is clean, you can collect your sample. On this particular model, I need to apply the sample up here on the meter itself and the sample will go on to the measuring area. Next I will hold this up to the light to view my concentration. Due to video recording issues I cannot do that but I will show you a chart here in just a moment. I have viewed my sample through the refractometer and I am getting a reading of negative 20 as you can see here in this example, they're showing you the grade in area. When you view it through the meter, you will see a noticeable difference in color between the dark and the light. Where that line crosses this scale will be the freeze protection level that you have in your glycol. So here I'm at 25 and I have propylene glycol in my system. Next, I will review another chart which will help me determine my current concentration level. After using the meter, I was able to de determine my freeze point was right around negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm looking at the column for Dalfrost HD propylene glycol, and based on this information, I'm right around 50% concentration. For my particular system, it was designed around 50%, so I am in good shape. But what could happen is over time, a system that's open and closed, you could start to get your system to become diluted. And for this instance, if we got a reading that was a lower temperature, let's say it was right around negative six degrees, our concentration is then only around 42%. We would wanna evaluate adding fresh glycol to bring that concentration back up to the 50% design. After using your meter, it's important to clean the measuring surface, properly put everything away for storage, and take care of your test sample of glycol properly. Thank you 